Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenden from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 276 and today we're talking about mini sessions. So the reason I was thinking about this is because we're heading into Easter and spring and a lot of photographers are starting to think about mini sessions. And I know that some of you really struggle getting your mini sessions booked and others of you book them like crazy and you have to add more dates and you're completely full. And I'm often left wondering, why? What makes mini sessions more effective for one person over the other? And I think there are several reasons. I don't think it's just one thing. We've done a bunch of videos on mini sessions. We've talked about it in live Q and A's. So you want to go back and watch those. This is not meant to be all encompassing, but I did want to say this. I was thinking about it this weekend and I was putting myself in the mind of the consumer. So rather than think like a photographer, I was thinking like a mother. And what would encourage me to book a mini session with you? Well, I think one thing is for sure something that is unique and pretty in terms of the setup. Now, I'm not into a lot of different props, but I know that some photographers do it really, really well. And I've seen some beautiful setups, some that I think, oh, that would look nice in my home, that picture. But from the standpoint of a consumer, I'm wondering, in, I really haven't thought this through. I mean, I'm kind of thinking out loud <laughs> with you now, but I'm wondering if a consumer looks at it and sees your mini sessions for $150 and five files, let's say, and they're thinking, okay, I'm paying you for a couple of photos that I'm going to put on Facebook. So essentially I'm paying for nice Facebook photos. I'm wondering if that's how some clients are viewing it. I tend to think that they might be because if your mini sessions are inexpensive and they include a couple two to five digital files, then what exactly are you providing in terms of service or product? Not a whole lot. It's just to have nice photos of their children to put on Facebook, and I'm not sure that that's worth it. I believe that a mini session, number one, has to be timely, it has to look good, it has to be stylish, and it has to offer some type of value proposition, something that the client finds valuable or maybe that they can't get on their own. So first I was thinking, well, what if it was a piece of wall art? It was just one beautiful image that they could put up on their wall in their home or in their office. And I was like, no, that's probably, too expensive for a mini session, that doesn't make sense. So what if it were some type of unique product? Like maybe those um, miniature accordion albums, they're real tiny, they're really cute. I think they're maybe three by three, I think that's right. And you know, the images are inside. Or maybe an image cube or some type of product that our labs offer that's unique and different that you could then show the clients in your mini session ad you could show the setup what the final images might look like with their children in it and so they can uh, imagine it visualize it and then also have this product that's like unique and with the mini session it's however much you want to charge it depends on many factors but they get this product and if they, and then by the way, I don't think mini sessions should ever be, have like an end, like black and white. Okay, you pay this much, you get this product over. I think the best way to approach it is to say, okay, you book, you get your photos, you get this product, you get no digital images, but they're also available for purchase. Or you can also purchase albums, or you could also purchase wall art. Like that's all available for purchase on the back end. But the mini session itself, what they are paying for initially is the session and this product, and that is it. That's what makes it mini, and that's what makes it different. I just worry that if you're putting your mini sessions out there with a cute image, props, no props, I don't care, that a consumer is looking at that and thinking, all right, I'm gonna pay $150 for five Facebook photos that I can share. I think it has to be more than that. I don't think this is my personal yet professional opinion. I don't think it makes sense to do mini sessions with a certain number of digital files. I think you are shortchanging yourself and you are not providing enough of a service or enough value to the client to get them to do something. Now, by the way, th this is all not hard fast. It could evolve and change because let's think of Christmas for instance, maybe people want those files for Christmas because they want to create their own Christmas cards. Okay, so in that case, it might make sense. However, if I were marketing mini sessions, I would not, I would not 
say, okay, here's your session and here's your five files and it's $150 or if I were doing it, what would I charge for many? 800, I charge 800 for many. I charge 1200 for the full session, so that would be a deal. I would not say, okay, $800 for your mini session and you get these five files because the sale ends there, that's it. You've limited your potential. But if you said, okay, $800 for this mini session, I'm making these numbers up, you guys. <laughs> If I said $800 for a mini session and you got this particular product, like I custom designed your Christmas cards and you got 50 of them, let's say, but you could also buy a little album or you could buy wall art, there would absolutely be a product list on the back end of that sale for me. Now, I don't do in-person sales, but my thoughts are for a mini session, I might set that up. Yes, you could set up a small IPS with your mini session clients in order to upsell products. Don't feel bad about upselling on your mini sessions. That's the point. Two points to a mini, okay, maybe three points. There's a lot of points to a mini session. One is to get new clients into your business, into your fold, so that they like you, they know you, they trust you, and then ultimately they graduate to a full session. That's the goal, it's marketing. Marketing is awareness. I wanna get out there in front of new clients who maybe aren't prepared to spend my full session fee, but we'll do a mini session because of this incredible value added proposition product that I'm offering. I can get them into the fold, we become friends, and then ultimately they graduate to a full session. That is really the goal of mini sessions, is to get your name out there and get people talking about you and giving something different, some type of product. But if you are putting yourself in the commodity lane of $150, $200, I don't care what it is, in five files, I think you're making a mistake. I don't think that you will get clients. I think it will be a struggle. I don't think they will be the right type of clients. They will be shopping purely on price and they're looking for five nice Facebook photos. That's not what you want. You wanna create something for them. So I would love if you would leave a comment and let me know what you think of this. Would that work? Would that not work? What are your ideas? I just think we need to reframe our approach with mini sessions because some of us are struggling with them, but we're doing the same thing over and over and it's just not working. So I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.